Racing games come in many shapes and sizes. And sometimes you're just not able to get to your precious rig or take a seat in front of your console. But that doesn't mean that you should be outcast from the world of driving. We went out to find the best 7 mobile games and ranked them from OK to the best. So make sure to keep an eye out for some surprise entries. And with that, welcome back to Overtake. I know mobile games caught a lot of stray in the past few years due to their uncanny nature. Short and flashy images with a constant appeal to microtransactions didn't really help either. But with a lot of different possibilities on the market, there's legitimate room for fun and unique gameplay, thus our top list. Let's start with our number 7, which is Rebel Racing. If you feel unsure about whether to start with mobile racing in the first place, then downloading this mobile game may be the best option to start. Developer Hutch managed to create an exciting game that doesn't require too much brain function in order to be fun. Most races are done through small corridors or strips of tracks, so races often only last about 20 to 40 seconds. In this short time frame, you are given a rival and have to try to beat them. That's kinda unique, since most mobile games simply throw you into a race where you have to complete a last to first challenge in just simply one lap. Rebel Racing, however, manages to keep it even. The selection of cars is cool as well. I went with a Nissan Saliva and it did well for the first few races. Of course, after a while, you get enticed to spend some Monero, but I guess it's the price you pay for getting the game for free. Definitely a worthy number 7 and available for iOS and Android. Or number 6 brings us another alliteration. Man, they really seem to love these things in the App Store. Real Racing 3 is a game from our dear friends at EA. While this game is most certainly anything but real racing, you do get the feeling that a bit of thought went into this one. For real racing, EA went with an all-encompassing approach to mobile gaming. The car selection is pretty big, considering this is phone only. Especially because they have different types of cars as well. The tutorial, for example, gets done with a Porsche, while the latter races often include Formula-type vehicles. At first I was a tad bit confused, mostly because I knew about a later candidate on our list. But I understood quickly that this is different from other releases. A main bonus point for this game especially are the graphics. Top notch I may even say. And the game is damn near 9 years old. Biggest downside are the microtransactions. As we are talking about EA here, this may have been expected, but it is especially grave with this game. Also, it feels kind of weird to tune an F1 car. I mean, come on. At least include the option to put some fat rims on this babe then. If this is for you, however, you can find it on iOS and Android in your app store of choice. Whoa, whoa, whoa hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I tell you about our number 5, I should get somebody who probably has to say a little bit more on the matter. Wait. <clears throat> hey guys, this is Champion Joe bringing you my favorite mobile game of all time. Assetto Corsa Mobile. <clears throat> okay, enough of that. But it is true, our fifth entry is a retrain of the legendary sim racing classic. Available for iPad and other tablets. It is also the only game on this list which costs money. $5.99 to get it installed onto your device. Straight away, this places a bit more pressure on the title, which I think it can make up for. From the gameplay side, this is probably the furthest any mobile racing game comes to actually feeling good. Physics and content are top of the dome. So the only problem is that there are two things which are quite troublesome. Graphically, this game looks stuck on Game Boy Advance, guys. I'm not kidding, and I wished I could have played it on a smartphone as well. The tablet variant is a nice tool, but for some of the more modern devices, the screen is just way too big for racing to really function. However, a spare six bucks nets you a very good piece of mobile racing content right here. And if you hunt for gameplay, not looks, this is definitely the one for you. Further up on the list, going to our number four, is GT Racing 2. While everybody loves GT Racing in real life and on sim, it is not less likable on phone. 
Developer Gameloft produced something that is just a very solid bit of fun for in between. You may have heard of Gameloft already, as they are the minds behind the legendary Asphalt series. Graphics and gameplay create a fun environment for anyone willing to test it. Even though some of the early races aren't in what you would consider a GT car. The further it goes, the more fun it gets. Tracks are longer, so you are not always just doing one lap and then you're done. Which is very nice and a welcome difference to other games. What also helps is the variance in game modes. No matter if it's some sort of last driver standing or a checkpoint based race, there's quite a bit of variance possible. And you can drive against fruits, which is always great to keep your vitamin D in check. Only thing I didn't like were the physics. Of course, mobile games have to be given an excuse and cars in GT Racing 2 bounce a lot for seemingly no reason. And the handling feels less calibrated than in other games as well. If you, however, find yourself to be interested in this game, iOS and Android both have it. Here you go. For our number three, we go to our first licensed product. F1 Mobile is the officially represented formula game on phone by EA and Codemasters in conjunction. And what can I say? It's very neat for what it tries to achieve. Fast pace and short races, which usually last around a lap or two, really push the pace on this one. You also have the enjoyment of seeing all your favorite faces clash on track with pretty good graphical detail. The fact that there are even championships driven on this game speaks for how much it really does even as a mobile title. What I find cool is that tracks aren't just restricted. In Real Racing 3, so the other EA title, you race a modified version of Yas Marina in your formula car to fit the mobile franchise, I guess. Here, this is not the case. Everything stays true to its origin, which I guess the player base really wants. Again, a problem I had was that it was kind of obnoxious to always dodge the microtransactions. It feels slightly pointless to say almost, but in every EA product, it's just always a bit more than with other releases. If you want to go F1 racing on your phone, however, then App Store and Google Play both have this beauty. Or number two comes straight from the streets. I love me some drag racing, and that's what's been missing so far. CSR Racing 2 fills that gap pretty well. In different scenarios, you drive against different kinds of rides in blistering 1v1 action. It all gives you that street racing flair some games have been trying to hunt for so long. Only difference is that it works here. You may say that only drag racing can be a bit stale, but I would tend to disagree. The races in CSR2 are fun and you have to interact quite a lot in order to not fumble the ball against the faster vehicles around. The tune-in aspect is also nice. Having the feeling of really upgrading your four-wheeler after some wins feels rewarding. Even though, of course, the incentive is there to do it with real-life money. Only thing that is a bit lackluster is the graphics. Considering we have multiple games from 2013 on this list, which look way better, this 2016 release seems like something that would run on a PSP. Nonetheless, it is something different, and me as a drag racing fan, I enjoyed it. Download it on iOS and Android if you care to try it out. The number one spot belongs to the newest part of the legendary Asphalt series, Asphalt 9. It is loud, over the top, nothing like a real racing game, but a whole lot of freaking fun. Whatever you imagine the mind of a young gun playing with Hot Wheels looking like, this is pretty much it. Gigantic stunts, drifts and 360s are casual in Asphalt. You jump, you drive, you crash into everything you see and pray you make it over the line. This game is just a fever dream, but I love it. It doesn't take itself too serious, nor should it as a mobile game. You are never gonna revolutionize the gaming sphere on smartphone. But what you can do is create a fitting atmosphere. Graphically, it is exactly as it should, with lots of colors and sparks all over the place. Nothing is unnecessary, because everything is so over the top and everything is so unnecessary if you catch my drift. A great mobile racing game and an earned number one from us. If you ever get the itch to try it out, then download it on iOS and Android today. And that's it. That's our list. Have we missed your favorite? Tell us in the comments below. 
As for me, it was a great pleasure doing this video once again. I hope you liked it as well. See you around and cheerio.